Welcome to the College Football Bowl Game Saturday slate here for December 23rd, 2023. We got seven games to break down for you guys. Got a fun slate of games in this one. I'm your host, Jacob Wayne, joined as always by Cody Maustrom and Will Schwartz. Let's move on uh, from that disaster of a bowl game. Let's move on to Las Vegas, where we're going to see Utah face Northwestern in the Las Vegas Bowl. A bunch of news on the Utah side that I got to break down now. So let's get right into it. Credit to Kyle Whittingham for this season, because this is this might have been the most injured team in the country this year. And he's still got them to eight wins, which is incredible. But quarterback Cam Rising missed the entire season. Very sad on that front. Michael Bernard running back, wide receiver Michael Pittman. And then tight ends Brent Keithy and Thomas Yasmin are all out. And then on the offensive side, quarterbacks Nate Johnson and Bryson Barnes in the portal. Wide receivers Mikey Matthews and Mikai Cope in the portal. Although Bryson Barnes will be starting in this game despite entering the portal. Cody's back wearing his youth's jacket. Love to see it. More guys not playing for Utah, though, in this matchup. Um, Edge, Logan Finau, and Lander Barton. And linebacker Lander Barton had injuries that remained sidelined with them. And then Edge, Jonah Ellis, led the team with 12 sacks this season. Season ending injury in Week 10. And then a few transfer portal guys, including cornerback Jatravis Broughton. Finally, we have opt-outs, wide receiver Devon Vele, and then safety Sion Vaki and Cole Bishop. So just an absolute mess on the Utah side of players not playing in this game. Northwestern, not a lot cleaner. I want to shout out David Brown, uh, David Braun, David Brown. Uh, got to check the pronunciation of that one. Feel bad on that front. But he had an awesome season. Uh, Northwestern won one game last year. Pat Fitzgerald dismissed just a month before the start of the season. And Braun went from being the North Dakota State defense coordinator last year to being the head coach, permanent head coach in Northwestern within one season. Love them to a 7-5 and five record. Exceeded any and all expectations out Northwestern this season. So I think this team will be very motivated in this game. Cody, are you back in your Utes here one final time this season? Or is there just too much missing talent for them to, to keep up with that six point six and a half point spread? The issue, and I think I've said this every video, the issue with recording how we record so late is I did already play Northwestern plus nine and a half on the open. I knew that was going to steam down right away, and it did. It's a six and a half now. You could still make an argument anything above six is still a Northwestern play. To me, it's tough for me to say just I always have trouble when I have like one number. I don't want to say like, okay, we'll still take those three points less. Um, that, and that's just a personal thing. Um Man, but I just look at the more, yeah, motivations on Northwestern side, blah, blah, blah. You still look at kind of what Utah lost, and to me, it's still the better team. Uh, and obviously, the market agrees, or six and a half favorite. I'm kind of leaning towards putting them in a little parlay because um, I'm trying to figure out a way what to do with Louisville, uh, which we'll talk about way later um, next week. Um, so if you haven't played this, I I, I lean Utah money line. I still think they have enough talent. Uh, Bryson Barnes uh, playing is 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 huge because um, if they were because originally they were pegged without both quarterbacks, and that would have been a problem. Um, that was a big reason why I was taking Northwestern. So at least we mitigate some of the blow that way in that regard. I still think this defense, yeah, they've lost some key pieces throughout the year, and they still played respectably throughout the whole entire season. I I think it's more than enough to um, really slug not slugless turn this into a slugfest uh, it's just northwestern man you look at their offense just horrific across the board i i just don't understand how they're gonna consistently contend against um utah to really put a scare in terms of an upset i, I mean 99 success rate 121st explosiveness 86 havoc allowed uh, that's potentially detrimental to utah who ranks 32nd in creating havoc but at the same time this utah offense man especially with the how they're getting decimated too they're they're they're, they're going to just continue to struggle. I mean, it's been a poor offense all season long, especially in success rate. In Northwestern, they do some some areas well. They they're very good at limiting explosiveness. So I, it's it's not like we're going to have like a drastic field changing move from Utah, which really was never ca the case in the first place. I, I think Utah can pull out a can squeak by with an ugly win. I think I think this is going to be a horrifically ugly bowl to watch, to be honest. Um, but yeah, if you didn't play Northwestern early. You could still play six and a half, but if you if you're leaning towards Utah, I think you're better off sort of doing Utah on a parlay with like Louisville or Troy. Yeah, I don't mind that Utah parlay piece angle. I got Northwestern at plus seven personally. Uh, I would still play it at plus six and a half. 
This team ended the year really strongly. Uh, they won four of their last five games to reach a bowl game, and their offense showed a little bit more life down the stretch, but put up 45 in the final week of the season against Illinois. Uh, kind of a rough Illinois defense, to be fair, but still, I think they did show a little bit more. Um, I think these quarterbacks are pretty equivalent between Ben Bryant and Bryson Barnes. Barnes playing is a is a big deal for continuity, but it's not like he had a great year. 58% of his passes completed. More turnover-worthy plays with 10 than big time throws at eight. I, I just I think these teams are pretty equal, to be honest. I think it's gonna be a big ten, it's gonna be a big ten West game out in Las Vegas. Schwartz, you've specialized in Big Ten West games this season. Any thoughts on this game here? Yeah, I have half a mind to money line uh Northwestern just out of pure value because of how close I think this is. And the fact that I'm cranky that I don't have a flat seven on this, because obviously you always want a flat seven if you're backing an underdog at six and a half. But I'm with Wayne. I think everything points to Northwestern. They've been playing some really good football. I don't understand. As great as winning him is, I don't know how you're supposed to get your guys up for this game. Northwestern, they haven't won or even been in a bowl since 2020, while Utah usually has bigger fish to fry. I mean, Wayne, you watched them in a Rose Bowl a couple years ago. You can... At this point in the era of college football, you can measure motivation in a way by proxy by looking at the portal. And Utah's getting hit harder by the portal. This has to be a Northwestern spot. It's a big spot for the program, honestly, after the year they've had and everything they've been through. Yeah, I I would like the plus seven, obviously. Uh, I'm not going to get it. I'm aware that I'm not going to get it. So I'm going to go half unit at six and a half. Like I said, we're mitigating risk this week, especially when you don't get the number that you want. It's been a weird year for Utah. I'd like to say just one more time, Cam Rising is not expected to play in this game after it felt like we had that discussion in the preseason all the way through week like nine. Uh, So, you know, credit to winning him and everything the Utes have done in their last Pac-12 season. I think they're going to dominate this next era of Big 12 football, but not today. This is a Northwestern spot and even more credit to the Wildcats for what they've been the last few years, everything that happened with Pat Fitzgerald, just getting to this point where they're in a bowl against, you know, a prestigious program. Good for them. I think they're going to get this one. But uh, But, uh, rather than the money line, we'll do the spread. Almost a touchdown. Schwartz, you mentioned the uh, bigger bigger fish to fry for Utah. And yeah, I mean, I think they were expecting to come out to Las Vegas to play in the Pac-12 championship this season. Um, Final Pac-12 championship had been there uh, the two previous seasons and, I think it's disappointing to play in this game, to be honest. Like, I think Northwestern definitely has a motivational edge. I just think in a low scoring, <laughs> it's going to be a grudge match, low scoring, all about defense here. And I, I just think getting any sort of points with Northwestern over six is, is definitely value, in my opinion. And I'll be playing a little bit of Northwestern money line as well. One of my favorite underdogs this early in bowl season. Um, Cody, any counterpoints to our Northwestern points before we move on? Nope, not at all. Um, I just want to make one declaration. It is December 20th, 2023. I don't care what the number is. I am betting Utah to win the Big 12 next year, and it is going to be one of the biggest future positions I have ever put in my life. I I, I can't put to words how excited I am for Cam Rising to return. Like, if you know, like, if you're like, if you know me personally, I have had, um, I had a million people that day send me that tweet of Cam Rising making his return news. It is one of the happiest sporting moments I've ever had, not involving one of my own personal teams. Utah is going to dominate this conference for until Kyle Winningham is six feet under. I, I'm so excited for Utah's future. I, it's going to be a massive, as long as it's not like some outrageous like number, it's going to be a very large uh, position for me. And I'll be betting Arizona to, to win the Big 12 personally, but not talking about Arizona today. We'll get to the Alamo Bowl later on, but going to be fun to watch a couple of these Pac-12 teams in the Big 12 next season. And this will be a fun slate of bowl games, boys. So hopefully we can bring you guys some value, hopefully some winning bets on this show. Uh, follow us all on Twitter. You can see our Twitter links in the bio uh, next to our names. And yeah, check out the bowl page, uh, the bowl tracking page. For all the latest transfer portal news, injuries, and other and everything else, opt outs, uh, updating that every day to help you stay apprised of everything going on. It's crazy out there in bowl season. You're going to have some games where you thought a player was playing and all of a sudden he's not, and you might win your bet anyways, like I did with UTSA. So hopefully you tell me on that one. But that'll do it for us. Hope you guys enjoy this Saturday slate of bowl games. <laughs>